Good afternoon from California again. Uh, my final day here before I fly out to Kenya tomorrow. Um, and I'm very excited that today on JTalk for our next episode, I'm going to be welcoming uh, a great friend of mine. She's actually been a bit of a mentor to me this first year of mine here at business school. She's a second year finishing this week from Nigeria. So let's welcome her on. Tolu Alabi, thanks so much Thank for coming so much, by. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Uh, thanks for coming to chat. Um, busy week for you. Um, yeah. Closing up here. Graduation on Friday, right? Yeah, on Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, yeah. And Almost your here. family coming out for graduation? Yep. My mom and my brother will be here tomorrow. And your, your mom's coming in from Nigeria? Yeah. From and your brother? Nigeria. He's coming in from Boston. Okay. So yeah. he's studying at Harvard as well? Yes. Wow, quite a power family you are. <laughs> <laughs> All thanks to my mom. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So you have a quite an interesting story. You came to the U.S. on an academic scholarship and yeah. studied in Iowa, right? Yep. What was that experience like? <laughs> it's, it was very interesting. Um, I'm from Abuja in Nigeria, so yeah. I lived there like all my life, 17 years. And then I wanted to come to school in the U.S. and I just looked at a bunch of rankings. I'd never been to the, I'd never been to the U.S. before. Um, I looked at liberal arts schools and Grinnell was top of the, was one of the top, the top um, liberal arts colleges. Yeah. So I chose Grinnell for academics and also basketball. I remember the first day when I landed in Des Moines Airport in Iowa. Mm. I get picked up and we're driving to Grinnell and all I see are cornfields <laughs> and cows. And I'm like, what the heck? Do you? How do you leave Abuja, a big city with lots of people and you come to this middle of nowhere with cornfields and cows? It was crazy. Yeah, that, tra that transition was very interesting. Yeah, yeah a bit but, of a culture yeah, shock. A huge culture shock. Uh, but huge uh, culture shock. otherwise your experience there was a positive one? Four years later, or how many years later now, it's been, I'm so, I'm, I have zero regrets. It was yeah. amazing. It was Great. a very good experience. And you played basketball on the, on the team there? I did, yeah. What was that like being a college athlete? Of course, I was one too, so yeah. I have my own experience and stories. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think, as, like I said, right, like coming in to the US, I was, it was a huge culture shock. Mm. So I remember my first year was pretty, was, was a struggle. But one of the major reasons why I could, um, why I could go through that well was because of the basketball team. So the basketball team was like my automatic default friends, best friends. So we did everything together, we hung out together. After basketball, we'd have lunch, dinner together, like, yeah. I guess party together too. We yeah. bonded so well, so I had them and it was really helpful. So being on the basketball team, yes, it's exciting playing basketball. It gets pretty intense and emotional, but that's how I got my default friends. Until today, we're, those are my that's closest friends. I go to their weddings and yeah. We're really close today. So it's basketball has been a blessing in my life for yeah. sure. And then after school, you uh, worked at Goldman, right? Goldman yeah. Sachs um, on the on the tech side. Yes. So that's different to what most people who work at Goldman will Very talk true. about doing. So what what was that like for you? And yes. what was what was the role? What did it entail? So in college, I did CS and math. Um, so I was pretty technical. At mm. Goldman, I did electronic trading. Oh wow. So I guess most people do investment banking or some people do trading, but I was more on the electronic trading side, which involves writing algorithms mm. for trading. Wow. So in many, many years ago, I guess now, before technology was great, um, human traders trade yeah. for clients, they trade for the company. Um, but now with, with automation, now you can make a computer trade for you. So the computer is faster, it's more efficient, yeah. and you can trade much better. So my team worked on writing the algorithms to, do, to execute those trades. Wow. It was really exciting. It was yeah. pretty crazy and scary. Yeah. But it was really fun and I learned a ton. Yeah. I learned a ton. And yeah. then what prompted you to decide to apply to come to business school at Stanford? Yeah, so like I, I know I, I always knew I love technology. Yeah. Um, I love math, I love CS. But being at that role at Goldman, all I could see all I could think of for my trajectory was I was gonna remain in that role. Mm. Maybe climb up the probably climb up the ladder, but remain in that role. Which is fine, but I have like other long-term plans. Mm. One of my long-term plans is probably potentially like move back home to Nigeria or start my own business there yeah. or here. Um, and I didn't really see that in my future based on the path I was on. So for me, a good way to move to that more entrepreneurial um, path mm. was to go to business school. Okay. And to combine that business with my technical skills because I already had the technical skills. I just needed the business knowledge, which I honestly didn't have then. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. for me, business school was the next was the next choice wow. makes sense. Right. Yeah. 
And I just told the viewers here that I was lucky enough for my first year to have Tolu as my personal leadership coach. <laughs> so it's one of the things as an incoming first year at the business school, you can sign up to get a, a leadership coach and you know, I obviously hit the jackpot. And so we'd meet once a week, um, the first couple of quarters to discuss what was going on. And from my perspective, I learned a ton from, from Tolu. Despite that she's younger than me, she you know, experienced uh, you know, a lot of the first year blues and helped me work through a lot of things and bounce ideas off her. I, I'd be curious what it was like being a coach to me for you. Uh, first of all, I really appreciate the very, <laughs> very kind words. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's all true. It's been great. Thank you. It was a blast. That was the most fulfilling experience of my business school career, oh. hands down. Being a fellow. Yeah. It was fascinating because I had you. I had two other people I was mentoring or coaching, and I just learned so much about myself mm. from you guys. Um, also from the classes, but just like being there, listening to you guys talk and bouncing ideas. Of, like our, our relationship was actually very, very awesome because it wasn't just you saying, oh, Tolu, um, what classes should I take? Or like, how do I fix this? Mm -hmm. And me being like, oh, do X, Y, Z and one, two, three. It was more like both of us talking about yeah. our issues and just helping each other out. Yeah. Um, so that was something I thought was amazing. I remember one of our sessions, if it's okay to share, yeah. um, we talked about um, values. Yeah. And that session was so powerful for me because like, I know I, I was like, oh, go think about your values and let's talk about this. And we talked about yours. But after I left, I was like, this is such, your values were just so powerful and I could just see it in you, like knowing you. Mm. And I was like, Tolu, like you have to think about yours too. Like mm -hmm. I really need to like think about mine and embody those values. So that's something I took back and I really thought about it until today. It's something that's in the back of my mind. Whenever things happen, I always think about my values. Okay, mm -hmm. is this in line with my values? Is it aligned with who I want to be and who I see myself being? I mean, I make sure to stick to that. So oh. thank you too. Like <laughs> I learned a lot, seriously. Tough. And yeah, I felt really kind. close to you. And I feel like um, I hope we have a good relationship that we can continue uh, I hope moving so. forward yeah, from absolutely. that mentoring. It's, yeah. It was it was fascinating. Yeah, and it I hope amazing. to. I'm not a fellow myself, but I hope to pass on the gift to the mentor incoming students as as much as I can as well. Um, so for you now, finishing up here. You're heading to Seattle, yeah, to work at Amazon. Yeah, that's congratulations. That's Thank really, you. really amazing. What, what uh, is most exciting to you about joining Amazon? I think, I think the company. I'm, I'll just say Amazon. Mm. Also, the role actually, both the company and the role. So Amazon is obviously the big company, mm. bigger than Facebook, Google, all that, all those companies. But something that's really awesome about Amazon is that they have so many different products and so many silos just doing their own thing. So you can also be very entrepreneurial within such a big company at Amazon. So that's something I really admire. They have what, Echo, they have um, Alexa, they have Amazon Prime, Amazon Now, Amazon, Amazon Video, drones, so many different pockets yeah. that you can be involved yeah. in. So that's something I'm very excited for. And the role, I'm gonna be a product manager and I'm so excited to be a product manager because I think that's a very, very critical path in where I, want, where I see myself mm -hmm. in terms of being an entrepreneur in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so being a product manager means I get to divide, define the vision of a product, mm. come up with an idea, define the vision, and get engineers, salespeople, marketing people, all of us involved, working together to develop this product for people to use. Mm -hmm. um, for me, that, that really excites me. Building something that is useful to people excites me. So being able to do that in, in the envelope of Amazon and being able to experiment within Amazon and yeah. fail yeah. gracefully within Amazon and not have any issues with that is going to be great for my learning. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. Yeah. And that sounds like it uh, as you, you, you uh, returning to Nigeria sounds like it's in your future too at some point. So it sounds like that's going to be a great experience to set you up there to be a more effective leader exactly. at, um, back in Nigeria. That's really great. So as you reflect on your two years here, what are a couple of highlights for you <laughs> of the two years? It's probably hard to fill out a few. Uh, it's hard. Um, being a fellow was one of them. Yeah, like yeah. I said, definitely my most fulfilling experience at the GSB yeah. um, because I learned a ton about myself. Um, okay. That was amazing. Yeah. And I was able to be there for other people too. So it was a win-win. Second experience, it's hard, but I would say the people. Mm. Like the people, especially like I'll say my classmates because those are the people I spend more time with. People are awesome. Mm. 
Um, getting to know people has been amazing at the GSB. Like, actually, like getting to know people, not just hello, hi, what are you doing next year, or like superficial, top level conversations, more deep conversations. Like learning where people are from, learning what motivates them, learning where they aspire to be, learning what things they're afraid of, and sharing that too, mm-hmm. being vulnerable with people. It really helped me to connect with lots of people in my class. Um, and I actually, in, term, in addition to connecting, I've learned so much from people. People in our class like started so many companies. Some people <laughs> have that. sold companies. Crazy. Some people have done, have worked with presidents. Some people have done amazing things. Mm-hmm. I haven't. So being able to like Well, I think you're being too modest. But <laughs> <laughs> being able to have conversations with those people and learn from them has been awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's no, I, I don't think I'm I'll bad. ever be in a situation where I will have like so many people who have done all these great things. Africa has a very bright future. Yeah. We've had a bright future for a while. Um, if I look at Nigeria, yes, we have issues with corruption, with the government. There's the economy ups and downs, yeah. but the future is so bright. Yeah. And when I see people like you, and this is, I'm not trying to fly, this is, this is just being honest. But when mm-hmm. I see people like you who have, who, who are so passionate, who are brilliant, who, people who are brilliant like you, um, who just want to dedicate their time to improving Kenya or other countries in Africa, it makes me very, very um, excited and inspired. Um, when I look at Nigeria, I have many friends who are, like, they quit their job at Goldman, they quit their job at Google, great places, move back home to work on something and improve improve the country. That inspires me. Um, so I think we are the future, mm-hmm. and the future is really bright for Africa. There's yeah. going to be there's gonna be so much going on. And people know, like, people in the U.S. know, investors know this. That's why, like, that's why people are going back to Africa, and yeah. not just Africans, but other people are moving back, too, yeah. to get in it, because... It's, it's going to be great. Yeah. I'm excited. Very good. I'm excited. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, don't want to keep you too long. I know you've got a lot of things to be uh, <laughs> d- getting ready for graduation, probably yeah. some celebrating to be doing. But thanks for coming on today. It's been, uh, it's been great. It's been an absolute highlight for me this year to get to know you. And wish you all the best and hope we stay in touch. I, would, oh, I, hope, so. <laughs> I hope we stay in touch too. I just want to say a very, very big thank you for having me here. Um, I feel like a celebrity to be next to Jason, <laughs> superstar. You all know he's an Olympian. Aside, even aside from being an Olympian, he's awesome. We love him here. Um, I feel very honored to be on this. Um, thank you for what you're doing. Um, thank you for sharing this with people back home. This is awesome. I, I know you're going to do great things. <laughs> Everyone, sure watch that. out. Watch out for this guy. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.